Whoa! 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 What the hell? What's going on, guys? Welcome to another adventure with your boy Omar. Got my friend James from the fam. We're gonna do a 3 a.m. overnight challenge at the Miss Pa Hotel. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go check it out. It was probably not uploaded yesterday, but it was done yesterday. What we did is we explored a very haunted hotel. In fact, we spent a second night in the most haunted room. We asked for this haunted room and a lot of stuff went down. There was stuff that I didn't even catch while I was filming that I went back and seen. You're gonna have to watch that video and see for yourself lots of paranormal activity. There was one part of the hotel that we missed not on purpose, but because it really deserves its very own video, and that's the basement. Check that out, man. 3 a.m. on the dot. This is the fifth floor of the Mizpah. If you missed yesterday's video, I was explaining that the room that we were in was occupied by a prostitute and her husband caught her and he murdered her right there. Underneath this carpet is a pool of blood and stains all around the wood. That's where we stayed last night, and we're going to stay there a second night. There we go. You guys ready to see the basement? It's supposed to be haunted. No, I don't want to. That is spooky. Whoa. <laughs> that closed really quick. Yeah, it did. All right, we all need to go. I'm a little freaked out, bro. into those beds oh these are like brand new beds yo this is how they roll at the mist pa man look these are like really expensive pillow tops this is another part that the manager will not step foot in what is this thing This is cool. The manager was telling us that this was the original entrance to the hotel. Like, even though it seems like it's the basement, this is actually level with the street because they built up. Like, if you look at the front of the Mizpah Hotel, I have a couple shots of it from the outside. They built on top of this and this is the new entrance now so yeah they added on and brought it up this was the original doors and Wyatt Earp himself used to walk on this dirt here the wild wild west days so yeah dude do you have any idea like how much history we're stepping on right now like this is so cool Look, you can tell, look, these were the windows. Look, the original windows right there from the front. This was the front of the hotel. Look right here, you could, you could see the windows. I haven't seen a phone like that in a while. <laughs> Some beautiful chairs. 
Yeah. I'm not sure why that hallway creeps out the manager so much, but we're gonna find out a little bit later. Might save that part for last. There's still a lot to see in this haunted basement. If you see anything in this video, something in the background, something moving, even hear something, please let me know in the comments where and when you've seen that. You could also go to my social media, maybe circle the certain area and send it to me. I will either respond or I will heart it, especially if it's on Twitter. Is somebody lives in there? Hello? I've seen some like a computer or something. Let's go investigate. What's in here? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Did you hear a noise? I did. If you're not familiar with the Mizpah, this was actually a bank too, slash hotel. I'm not sure if it was a bank first, but there was a vault down here, and I think it was somehow connected. I mean, they used to have payroll down there. They used to have gold, silver. Well, I'm gonna explain a little bit more why it's haunted. You're not gonna wanna miss this, but let's make our way that way. Ooh, danger, no smoking. Must be something flammable in here. Bro, was that you? Whoa, 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 whoa what the hell? What? I got that on camera, bro. There was a woman that just walked by right now. You didn't get that on camera? It freaked me out so much when you did that. <sighs> bro, some woman just walked really fast. I gotta check my footage. Right when I was checking on James right now, oh my gosh, my heart's beating so fast. We seen a woman. It looked, it looked like, did you see it? Bro. You scared me so bad that I went like this and my phone turned off. Like, I don't know, I don't know what I got. Like, you scared, my heart is beating so hard right now, dude. Guys. I didn't see anything. There is nobody down here but us, okay? It is 3.29 in the morning. There's nobody down here, okay? I'm scared, bro. I want to see what happened. Dude, the way she walked by was really fast and that was really scary. I was checking up on James and a woman walked really fast. That way. Right towards the vault. Oh, look. This must be where that bank vault is. Oh, there's a light on in there. Hello? Look at that. That's pretty. Look at this thing, bro. Whoa, that's creepy. I wonder what they do with that. This is um for rocks. Oh, I was thinking it was like for sanding or something. Oh. What? Bro. This was closed, right? Bro, it just opened. I just saw it open on my camera. You seen it open? Bro, you actually seen it, it open? Bro, we were standing here and I saw it open. I was filming this right here of you showing me what this thing is and I see the thing go sh Just like that. I'm not joking, bro.
Oh, cool, bro. Look at this. This is what the miners would use. Oh, wow. I don't know if they would bring in silver or gold. Well, there's a vault down here somewhere. And it's where they had like a lot of gold and silver. Okay. No, yeah, that doesn't go anywhere. It's just, this is an old ladder. I was curious about that too. Oh, jeez, I don't know if one over there in this corner. Whoa, check this out. Watch your step. Oh, this is the vault. This is the vault? This is it right here. Whoa. Dude, this is the vault. Oh man, do I got a story for you. I have a story for you. Do you have the EVP meter? Yeah. Let's keep that on. Cause this is where, okay, tell the story. All right, let's close this. Huh. Are you sure? I mean, uh, I don't want to get locked in here. I'm not sure if there was an actual vault door there. I mean, obviously it wasn't this, but this is, this is the vault that we're in right now. Okay, so here's the story. You see these shelves right here? They used to have cash, silver, gold, you name it. Prized possessions, I mean, this was the apple of the bank's eye, was down here. But you wanna know the biggest mistake? They built everything perfect here, but they didn't take into account that there's mine caves all over the place and there's dirt right underneath them. Three miners broke into this vault using their mining techniques and they stole all the gold, all the silver, but here's the one problem. Three made it in, only one made it out. You know why? Because that one was greedy and he killed his two friends and their bodies were found in here. Those two guys, they say that they're harmless, but they're seen everywhere in this hotel, mainly down here in the basement. Not sure what their names are, but yeah, they were found dead in here. They were thieves. I think that they kind of made friends with somebody who they shouldn't have made friends with. That didn't end up well. I hope that guy was caught and I hope justice was served. And I hope he was haunted by those two other guys too. But yeah, I love history, so that's one thing. I mean, this is cool, but huge mistake. I mean, they built this beautiful hotel and casino plus a bank here on this property, but they were a little bit cheap on the flooring of the foundation. This is all dirt, so it was real easy for people to break into this vault here. You wanna know something funny? Well, I actually feel uh, safe and comfortable in here right now. You know what, me too. I don't feel a weird vibe or anything. No, out there safe. though, I feel really creepy you know, out there. I feel safe in here, because like, there's like, we're, we're trapped in here. Like, as long as that door doesn't lock. Oh, that would suck. Yeah, I mean, look how thick this concrete is. So, I mean, yeah, that's about how thick it is out there too. And yeah, this was built late 1800s, early 1900s. Still here. Wow, it's really cold over here, bro. Really cold. Dude, come over here. Oh, it's freezing over. Isn't that crazy? Bro, that is really, like, bro. Uh, you would think that that's like outside right there, but it's not. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Is that open? I don't know. Do we want to open this? No, it's nailed shut. That makes me wonder why. What the hell is that? Uh, bro, I just seen something flicker in there too. I think I did. Let me know in the comments if you've seen, I, I almost seen like a, I don't know if it was a figure or it was like a, a cloud or something. It could have been my light. But it's just kind of weird that it's so cold over here. All right. There's some turquoise right there. You hear that? Hear something. I heard like a woman. It's like a woman's voice. Dude, I just heard it again. Is there a such thing as a turquoise rock or is this just a turquoise colored rock? 
That's beautiful. One of the managers that used to collect like those turquoise rocks and I think they used to do things with them too. They passed away in October of last year. This gentleman hasn't left this area and sometimes they say that this light will flicker and ever since he passed away the light inside the vault in there does not work anymore. In fact it blew up while they were in there the night he died. No, but you want to know something weird? Well, like I keep seeing like little dust particles, which is understandable, but it almost looked like uh, when I was looking on here, it looked like smoke coming up or something. Really? Yeah, I'll have to show you the clip in a second. I, I don't know. Like I see dust particles, but this was like a lot, like a smoke or fog or something. It was yeah. really weird. It is cold down here, but you can't see the carbon dioxide because there's not much humidity. No, there's no. Yep. You don't see anything. No, this was, I don't know, I'll have to show it to you. I'll have to look at it again. Let's get out of here, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get it, but, bro. Oh, yeah, this, I'm this, scared to leave here. I'm scared to go in there right now. Dude, like, look, I, I thought there was bugs in front of you, but on the on the camera here, it shows a ton of orbs. Look at that. What? Dude, there's a ton of orbs. Bro, I'm freaking out right now. What? Look, there's nothing there. I can't but, see anything. But on the camera, you can see it. Dude, there's a spirit there. No lie, dude, swear. Bro, I just got like, I feel like I just got just, like chills. Like I just got so cold all of a sudden. You guys are dude, gonna have to let me dude, know. I swear, it looks like there's bugs all over you right now. I'm freaked out. I don't even know what to say to you, to say to you guys right now. I'm gonna go down that hallway and I'm freaked out. Uh, let's go over that hallway because it's probably less freaky than right here right now. Oh my god! And then they disappear just like that, bro. Really? Wait till you watch your footage later. Is this where we're going? Yeah, hallways down that way. All right, guys. There's one more place that we haven't gone through, and that's this hallway that the manager refuses to go through. Let's make our way. You got, the, you got the EVP meter? I got it. Oh, I just had a spike too. <laughs> right, right when I had, yep. What the hell was that? <laughs> no idea. There was like a loud thud. It was a thump. Yeah. All right. Oh. You stay back there. No, I'm not. I'm going, bro. All right. I don't even know if I want to go over here. What is over here? I don't know. I just had like a feeling like there was somebody behind me, and I had to just, I don't know. I just had a really weird feeling. Oh, gosh. Where does this go? Oh, this thing's going crazy right now. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, but as soon as I put it in front of the camera, it stops. <laughs> oh, wow. Seen that? Whoa. What's this? Yeah. Can't read it. Oh, give me a big silver dollar to throw on the bar with a bang. A dollar all creased will do on the east, but we want our money to clang. <laughs> wow. And those are silver dollars. Look oh, at that. Really? Yeah. Oh, it must be like a private banking area or something. Whoa. 
It's like a dining area. This is cool. It's super spooky. Very spooky. Look at all these mirrors. Mirrors creep me out. Oh, this is the mirror from from the picture. That's the mirror, yeah. An entity showed itself on this mirror. And they have the picture downstairs. Maybe it'll show itself again. Do you want to take any pictures? Yeah, I'll take some pictures. Is there anybody here with us? Who was it that was walking around the basement? Who was the woman? Look at this, look at this, look at this. It's blinking a little bit. But almost like that that TV yesterday. Oh my gosh. There is something here with us. Look at this, look at this. What the heck? I can see it going from here. No, there's something with that mirror. Wow. If you guys didn't hear Omar or Omar mention it, there was somebody that took a picture in front of this mirror. And all of a sudden there was another person. Oh my gosh. Here. Dude, there's somebody here with us. Or something. And it's right around here. Okay guys. We made it through the 3 a.m. challenge. It is officially 4.03 a.m. This thing is still going off though. I mean, if a place is haunted, it's haunted. Bro. 3 a.m. or not well, 3 a.m. Did you move that, that fan? Uh, no. And now it just stops. No, it keeps going. What the heck? It stopped in the wind, it looked like. Hey, that's Jack Dempsey. Oh, yeah. Jack Dempsey used to be the boxer, the famous boxer. He actually used to, uh, he was a bouncer here, we heard. Yeah, when he wasn't making money at that time, like he would, cause he would box in Goldfield and then he would come here to bounce and make some like side money. Huh. So, cause this was kind of like a club and not only a club, but you know, it was a hotel, casino. Oh, I can Big imagine. ballers would come here. Oh, I imagine back in the days, this was a nice social club. Oh, dude, you had to have money to be here. Oh, sure. I mean, we're, you know, not that far from Vegas, but. Yeah, this this was the spot. This must be the Jack Dempsey room that they talked about. Oh, duh. Yeah, that's why his picture's here. Oh. So yeah, I mean, what's really cool about this place is there's a lot of rooms that are named after people. I mean, you have like the, the Lady in Red room and they're all different themed rooms. That's what's really neat about this hotel is they really cherish their history and they honor their history. Every single room has its own theme. They even have a room, it's called the Wagon Room. And what did they do? I haven't seen the room yet, but they took a bed and made like a, I think they, they used a wagon. A wagon. And they made it into a bed, like a real wagon. That's pretty cool, like a mining wagon, right? Yeah, a mining wagon. Yeah, pretty neat stuff. So that's why this room is called the Jack Dempsey room. You know, it's people that were a part of its history, the Mizpah history. Obviously he was a pretty important guy, pretty important to the area. And I mean, you could see how important he was right there very famous boxer if you don't know who that is look him up i mean he fought some like really famous people too it's a legend we're gonna make our way to bed we have one more night to spend here i will keep my camera close by in case something happens i will include it in the footage here don't forget to give this video a like you can follow me on social media if you see anything heard anything like i mentioned earlier let me know share it with me on my social media on instagram or twitter also, if you want to follow James's Instagram, he's OMG Fams. I'll leave a link to that and I'll leave a link to his channel. Before you go, you're gonna have to give me a kiss. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Peace. <laughs>